This is a great national crusade, a crusade to destroy enforced idleness, which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. FDR took unprecedented action to put Americans to work with new agencies like the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, the Works Progress Administration, the WPA, and the Public Works Administration, the PWA. He understood that having a job gave people a sense of identity and purpose. He believed the psychological benefit of employment was just as important as the economic benefit of receiving a paycheck. With that in mind, he created the Works Progress Administration, the WPA. This was the largest public works initiative in American history, employing 3.3 million people at its height. The WPA did not contract with private companies. It hired the unemployed directly. Critics charged the agency wasted money on make-work projects, but WPA workers built thousands of roads, bridges, tunnels, parks, airports, schools, courthouses, post offices, and other public buildings. WPA artists created nearly half a million works of public art and brought theater, literature, oral histories, music, and dance to communities around the nation. These programs also served a larger purpose, to give all Americans access to art and culture. The Public Works Administration, or the PWA, contracted with private construction companies to put additional people to work building highways, canals, dams, and other large-scale infrastructure. From 1933 to 1939, the PWA funded over 34,000 projects, including the Grand Coulee Dam, the Lincoln Tunnel, and the All-American Canal. The Civilian Conservation Corps, or the CCC, a program to put young men aged 17 to 24 to work on conservation projects, enlisted nearly 250,000 men in its first three months. Very good to be here at these Virginia CCC camps. I wish I could see them all over the country. The CCC planted over 2 billion trees, fought forest fires, built trails, campgrounds, and reservoirs, and aided with soil conservation programs throughout America's national forests and parks. The roads, bridges, tunnels, dams, sidewalks, schools, post offices, hospitals, airports, parks, public art, forests, and national parks built by the WPA, the PWA, and the CCC during the Great Depression are still being used and enjoyed by millions of Americans each day. It will take more than a few years for us to solve challenges that have built up over decades. It will require common effort, and shared responsibility, and the kind of bold, persistent experimentation that Franklin Roosevelt pursued during the only crisis worse than this one.